Hey friends, welcome back. I am Jason Salyer and today I am going to be fashioning some sort of sheath for this Russian shovel that I've got. I've been wanting one of these for a while and I finally got one and I searched for one that was that meant something a little bit more. And this one was made in 1984, which was a pretty good year, the year I was born. And so I picked this up and I really like the idea of of the multi-tool you know the the tool that's not necessarily designed for one specific purpose but can do lots of things um efficiently this this can dig it can be an e-tool it can be a chopping tool if the edge is sharpened um i've even seen guys cook eggs on them over the fire all kinds of different things can be done with these but um if i am going to sharpen the edge of this shovel I want it to be protected in some way if I'm going to be carrying it around. So, and I've seen different types of sheaths for these. I've seen ones um, made out of canvas. I've seen them made out of leather. I've seen them made out of Kydex. And they always pretty much cover the entire blade of the shovel, the whole thing. And it just seems like a lot of wasted material. And it makes it significantly heavier, especially if you're using uh, like this Kydex material. It, it, it's, you know, you could be using a whole sheet of this stuff to make a sheath for this. And that seems a little bit um wasteful to me so what i want to try to do is get something very minimal very minimal just something to protect the edge that i can kind of pop off and easy on and off and i don't know how to do that yet but i'm sure that we can figure it out stick around you know I, i'm not an expert I'm not an expert anything. I like to figure things out as I go kind of deal. Um, and it's funny whenever I make videos like this or really anything, a video about anything, doesn't matter the experts come out, you know, start telling you what you did wrong or, you know, you should do it this way or that kind of thing. And it's, it's just so funny to me. Like uh, I did made a, did a sheath video a while back making a neck sheath for Alan. And you know, some of the comments were like, you know, uh, like these these expert expert sheath makers are out there i guess and said no you didn't even do anything to, to prep the blade or anything like that it's like one i don't even know what the heck you're talking about two what difference does it make it's a it's a covering for a sharp pokey thing that's all it's all it does it's the whole it's sole purpose i mean i'm not a knife collector um and if it, my knives all have scuffs and scratches and dings and stuff in them i don't i don't even understand i don't even get it <laughs> but anyway, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. That goes like that. This goes like that. That goes like that. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Not too bad at all. Now that's more than enough Kydex to, I'll flatten it back out, heat it up and put it in the press just for flat, to make it flat. And that's more than enough Kydex to make uh, half of another sheath. Now a bandsaw would probably be the ideal tool for doing something like this, but I don't have a bandsaw, so I use what I have. You don't let the experts out there persuade you, discourage you from doing this kind of stuff on your own because you don't have this, you don't have that. You don't need to be an expert. You don't have to have the perfect tools. You can usually figure things out. The perimeter of the shovel's right here. So that means I need to put an eyelet here, here, maybe one at the end. Probably don't need a whole lot more than that. And I'll just kind of equally space them out. It's a shovel, so it doesn't have to be flawless in every way.
I'm running into an issue now. Getting it in and out of the sheath is going to be tricky. Um, I don't know exactly how to solve this problem. I think what I might have to do is just lose these eyelets. I just removed those two eyelets there. And what that does is it allows the kydex to spread apart. And I can get the shovel on and off. Like so. What I did was I heated up with the heat gun here and I pressed my thumb against it and made it form really, really nicely against the back of the shovel here. And now it locks in place really, really securely. These holes are going to drive me insane. All right, so it's looking really good. It looks a lot better now that I got rid of those holes. Rounded off the corners here. Uh, and it stays on really, really securely. Spread the kydex apart, push it off just a little bit, and it comes right off, no problem at all. So that part is functioning really well. However, getting it on, putting the sheath on is kind of, yeah, it's not, it's not terrible, but it could be better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this part right here and I'm gonna flare it out just a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a flare and opening so that'll allow the shovel to insert in there much, much easier. Aha, that works really good. I like tools like this. I like the kind of tools that you can use and abuse and not have to worry yourself so much about. I'll put a little bit of an edge on the front, but not a lot, just a little. All right, so here's pretty much the finished product. It's got a really nice sheath for our shovel. It's gonna protect the edge, keep us from getting cut. Pops off pretty easily. Goes on pretty easily. Yeah, sort of. Goes on pretty easily and stays on very securely. It's not coming off. And that's exactly, well, really all you ever should ask out of a sheath. Um, and now we've got a sharpened edge on here and this thing is ready for service. I've already got some dents and dings and stuff in the edge, but that's that's okay. This that you know, that's kind of the the purpose of a tool like this is to hack and to beat in the dirt and dig holes and chop through roots and you know, if you need to put it into service to build some sort of shelter or something, you could do that. And it's got a serviceable edge on it, just a files edge that um, I didn't put a stone on or anything, and that's probably all I'll ever do. But if I needed to. I could employ this thing to make some, some tender for me. Is it a razor sharp cutting edge? No, but will it work to make some feathers? Absolutely. Just increasing the surface area, exposing some dry wood here, and it will absolutely work. Could I gut a fish with it? Absolutely. Um, use it like a machete, clear a path. 100%, no question. I really, really like tools like this. I really like this shovel. I'll probably be doing, I might actually do a, um, uh, a overnighter, a long weekend, maybe a couple nights with just this shovel. You know, bring nothing but this. I might cheat a little bit and wrap some paracord around the handle and that will allow me to do maybe a bow drill fire um, because without that, friction fire is pretty challenging. Not impossible but pretty challenging sometimes, just depending on where you at, where you are and materials available. So maybe I'll do an overnighter with just this friggin' awesome shovel. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see a couple nights out with nothing but the shovel, 
make sure you let me know in the comments and I'll just do it. See ya.